I recorded this entire video and my mic was not on. Honestly, I just want to scream my head off. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey girl, my name is Lucy. I always say to stay subscribed. We have a good time on this channel. I don't know what I'm going to title the video yet. So whatever you see the video as, that's what it is. But I do know that I want to be speaking about my most hated fragrances. Okay, you know what? Hate is a strong word. So I'm going to say my least favorite fragrances, do you get? And also perfumes that I think smell cheap. I think. Before we even jump right into the video, let me just put out a few disclaimers because <sighs> internet, okay? This is my opinion. This is what I think. This is my preference. And obviously opinions are not fact. So this doesn't mean that if you like this perfumes or you like the things that I speak about that I don't like, it doesn't make it different like it doesn't make it less worthy it doesn't make it like less valuable it just means i don't like it and we're different people so if you like something i don't hell there are things that i like that you might not like which is completely fine obviously it might pierce my heart a little bit that oh my god something that i completely adore you don't like but at the same time it's preference what i like is what i like and what i don't is simply what i don't and if you do these things it doesn't make it bad it just means that's what you like and also the second thing is when i say cheap i'm not saying money wise i'm talking about like how it literally smells in my opinion it smells like this okay doesn't mean that that's what that's what it actually smells like especially to your nose just to mine okay just to my nose this is what it smells like and this is the vibe that it's giving me and that's why i'm talking about it and obviously it's okay for you to disagree but anyway let's just move right into the video now let's start with uh, one that I have physically and by the way, I'm going to be looking at my phone because I have the notes and everything on my phone pink sugar now this fragrance is uh, By the way, I'm gonna explain the reason why I have it. Okay. I have it physically. It's by Aqualina uh, pink sugar and The main accords in this is sweet caramel vanilla fruity soft spicy powdery the top note on this is raspberry orange fig leaf bergamot the middle note is cotton candy licorice red berries strawberries and then base note is lily of the valley now the only reason why i have this in my collection is because jackie raved about it last year when she posted one video on uh instagram talking about her favorite sweet fragrances and i'm just like i've used this over the years right but i hate it <laughs> oh my god listen i know the main accords in this sweet powdery woody whatever spicy but this is sweet this is sugar in a bottle literally i know it says pink sugar but that's what it literally is like just it's too sweet it is sickly sweet like for me this is a juvenile scent right here even like a couple years ago i still wouldn't use this because and i'm still in my 20s so i'm still young but i just i can't and when jackie raved about this i went back and i bought it i'm just like okay you know what let me give it another chance maybe i'm the one you know overreacting maybe i'm the one not you know giving it time to settle down absolutely not i give this a negative one it's been in my on my shelf for a year i'm pretty sure the reason why it's like this is because maybe the bottle wasn't even full all the way because i can count how many times i sprayed this in the air this is a no for me now from this point on the fragrances i'm going to be talking about i don't have them physically and i will i just wouldn't have them i just wouldn't mm -mm. now the second fragrance i'm going to be talking about is prada candy right by obviously prada right now the main accords in this caramel powdery amber sweet vanilla musky warm spicy balls make right and then the top note caramel the middle notes powdery notes musk and base notes benzoin and vanilla this is basically car caramel lollipop <laughs> to me it is i have tried it and honestly for that one i literally did one spray and i was like absolutely not it is so juvenile it's a juvenile smell in my opinion and i can't think of a grown woman on Prada candy like absolutely no i've seen a lot of people rave about Prada candy on tiktok i'm like girl i understand that you love it i understand that it is i can't you know what you know what let me just stop i can't i mean i have seen fragrances on tiktok that i love and people are literally throwing it in the trash on tiktok and i'm so pain i'm like oh my god this smells so good i love it this is my baby but then like I can't do anything about it because it's a personal 
things, the choice. It's your nose is different from mine. What you like, I might not like. What I like, you're not going to like. So I'm okay with it. This Prada candy, I'm definitely going to give it a one because I can stomach it a little bit. You know what? Prada candy, I could actually buy for my daughter. You know, like you know, just add it to one of you know the fragrances I'll get for her when she's testing out fragrances when she gets of age. If that makes sense, that I would. But as a grown woman. No, in my opinion, I just feel like anyone in their twenties should be smelling like this. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Now, the third fragrance is one that I know that you all are going to kill me for because I had used it on my thumbnail in that previous video where I spoke about you know things that cheapen your outfit because that video people kind of you know took it another way, but that's okay. Everyone and their opinions. And a lot of people in the comments were just like, why is Amari C on the, on the thumbnail? Blah, 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 blah. It's a very beautiful perfume. I, got, I get a lot of compliments on it. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. I'm happy for you that you get compliments. But for me, on my body, on my skin tone, it is complete trash. And the dry down of Amani C on me is literally soap. Like powder and soap mixed together. <sighs> I can't and honestly when I even smell it on people I don't like it either so I don't even know what it is because sometimes I like to think that it's on me but I smelt it on different people I'm only see it's a very popular feminine scent I like to have fragrances that people love but they're not that much you see this Amani C and the last fragrance I'm going to talk about people are definitely going to come for me for these fragrances and what I have to say about them but it's a choice and for me when a lot of people smell the same way it kills the value of the fragrance for me I don't care how much it is and you'll see because the last fragrance is actually really really expensive but I just feel like at this point it's not worth it anymore right so yeah that's Armani C well let me just tell you Armani C the main accords woody vanilla aromatic soft spicy fruity green floral patchouli rose and earthy and then the top note is cassis i hope i'm pronouncing that well the middle note is mary rose and freesia and then the base note is vanilla patchouli and brusan, if i'm pronouncing that well and then woody notes and trust me amani i would give it a good four out of 10 and do you know what i actually love the amani c passion that one the red bottle oh that is so good well not good good to the point that i would repurchase it if i'm being honest with you i wouldn't but i wouldn't even buy it because the one i had that i used i think it was two years ago it was a gift i wouldn't buy it but if someone gets it for me again i will use it because I really like that one, but it's okay. It's just okay for that one. I would give it a strong six, you know, but like for this one is a good four. It's a good four. I mean, it's still something that I would still mark because obviously like a lot of people wear it and I feel for me, it could even pass like a body spray rather than like an actual perfume that I would wear out. And that's just me. I just don't like the perfume, right? Now my third fragrance on this list is one that is almost similar to, to Amani C and it's Lancome La Vie Belle. They have different flankers of it. And I tell you, I don't like any one of it. And I just feel like it's the most, I don't want to use the word effortless because effortless usually means like, it's usually said in a positive light. When I mean effortless, I mean like literally no effort or thought put into how you smell. That's how I feel when people spray Amani C and La Vie Belle. It's just like, okay, you know what? I walked into the shop and I just was like, you know what? You know, let me just go for this because you know what? It's the most popular thing on the shelf. There's no need. And it's okay. Some people are literally like that, that don't even pay perfumes that, that, that much mind. They just pick anything that smells good. And I think La Vie Belle is that type of fragrance that you just pick when you just want something that smells okay. And La Vie Belle doesn't smell terrible terrible on me it smells oh it smells like soap mixed with roses or rosy soap i don't know how to explain it it just smells like a dead fruit this is not just given it's not given what it's supposed to give and it's okay if you want to use lavier bell for like a work perfume i would say it's leaning towards that you know like something you smell when you, when you spray when you're going to work because obviously you are in a professional environment in an office space where different smells and fragrances mixed together you want something that is very light 
that is going to like compliment the, the crowd or the room or something lavender is okay but i just feel like as a grown woman stepping out of your house going for brunch or like having dinner or like going to the club and stuff lavender shouldn't be the choice on me it smells terrible on other people i don't like the smell i just don't know what it is i just don't like it La Vie Belle is main accord sweet vanilla fruity patchouli woody powdery white flora earthy iris lactonic i don't know what that means and then the uh, top note is blackcurrant pear then the base note is well the middle note is iris jasmine orange blossom the base note is praline vanilla patchouli and tokabi you see all of these notes i don't smell any not even one not even one in this perfume i don't but anyway let's move on the final one on this list which i feel like people are literally going to be gunning in down through the screen but i'm going to say it okay and that is baccarat rouge 540. hear me out hear me out i once loved baccarat rouge 540. if you check down my channel i even made a video about baccarat rouge 540. when it first dropped i was oh my god I love this so much it's a very it's a nice perfume it's a good perfume I don't think it's worth the amount I have seen dupes of Baccarat Rouge 540 that I actually do like more than Baccarat Rouge 540 and let me tell you something Baccarat Rouge 540 people killed in this market like I'm telling you there are different dupes I'm telling you almost every brand Zara even has a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540 and it's quite good they have two different types and they are quite good and i have well i have one i've smelled the other one and still they still have it in the they still have it in their collection it's a red temptation it smells good so it's the exact same back at rich 540. obviously like you cannot compare the longevity and lasting power and all that stuff but at the end of the day they smell similar and quite frankly i would pick the ariana grande cloud like take on Baccarat Rouge rather than Baccarat Rouge itself. I'm almost out of the Ariana Grande cloud and the Baccarat Rouge is still there because I just find it unappealing or unattractive. In this case, I'm not saying it's not a good smell because quite frankly it is. The bottle is sleek, the branding is nice. I just feel like it's not worth the hype and I wouldn't spend my money again on it. The main accords in this is woody, amber, warm spicy, fresh spicy, aromatic, animalic, metallic, the top notes saffron jasmine middle notes um amber wood amber grease and then the base note is fair racing and um setup setup yeah that's cool listen beautiful notes like beautiful blend but i feel like at this point with the rate that baccarat rouge is literally everywhere but obviously dupes everybody's smelling the same <laughs> everyone's smelling the same you can literally smell Baccarat Rouge from a mile away. And honestly, you can't even tell the difference nowadays if it's the dupe or the original one. So that's why it's in this for me because it's a no buy anymore because I feel like there are really, really, really good fragrances out there that, you know, captivates your personality and like, you know, gives you much more zazz and pizzazz and like, you know, vibes and energy than these fragrances, especially this expensive one, because I wouldn't be spending like more than $300 on a perfume that makes me smell like everyone else. Absolutely not. That's basically everything that I have for you guys. You guys, take it easy on me in the comments because I know that some people are about to come for me for slandering their favorite perfumes, but I'm so sorry. I do have more, but let me just drop this one with you guys and I'm going to make a part two for sure because I have more perfumes that I don't like, but you all love and I want to tell you why I don't like them, okay? But anyway, follow me on Instagram if you haven't. It's linked in the description box below and as well as on the screen. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I'm sure you guys are going to let me know how much you hate me, but it's okay. I'm so sorry. I just have to be honest with you. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.